Kevin Owens has called out a rather unexpected name for WrestleMania 39. Two AEW stars comment on their first time ever match. And a major wrestling faction has teased a reunion. Find out who it is in a bit. All right, all right, all right. Is that, is that Matthew McConaughey That's in right. the room? Look at oh me. Oh, my I'm God. I'm here smoking joints. And, yeah. And, and, and what else does he do? Driving Lincolns? He does drive a Lincoln. Had a weird his... career dip and then came back stronger than ever because Killer Joe was y awesome. Yeah, and then goes oh. to space and shouts Murph through a, oh God, oh, through yeah. a bookcase. But, but why are we talking about Matthew McConaughey? Man? Because there's one thing he hasn't done yet. What's and, that? Among all the things he's done. And that's be? wrestle at WrestleMania. It, it, yeah, he's not wrestled there, has he? <laughs> I don't think he's wrestled anywhere. <laughs> People are sat home going, what the f are they talking about? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is a rather odd one. But Kevin Owens uh, was talking with Corey Graves about celebrity involvement in wrestling, and namely, which celebrity he would like to fight. Uh, he said, I did interviews before WrestleMania, and people were asking me if you could pick a celebrity to have a match with, like Sammy's doing this weekend. Who would it be? And what did Kev have to say? <laughs> he if people said, of course, guess if you couldn't already. guess, we put the puzzle pieces together <laughs> for you. But he said, he's my favorite actor, which happens to be a coincidence. But a few years ago, Matthew McConaughey came to a show and he was backstage. He said he didn't get to meet him because there was, uh, it's Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. There's going to be a line of people <laughs> backstage. He said there was a lineup of people wanting to talk to him, so I didn't get to meet him then. I remember not long after that, he talked to me about how he'd love to do something in WWE. Uh, I don't know him, I don't know him at all, but to me, he seems like a kind of guy who would love to be coming in to do it right and have a blast. People like that to me are welcome in our industry at any time. Now he spoke on the a podcast with Maria Menounos back in January, 2021, mm. and he, he'd said that wrestling was something he would love to do. He's a massive wrestling fan. Uh, you can spot him in, in various crowds. In fact, there was an interview where he said he, he got kicked out of a wrestling show for spitting on King Kong Bundy. <laughs> what a mark, am I right? Uh, so he's he's definitely a fan of the business. Yeah. Um, I would love to see him appear. Uh, he, he said that in that interview with Maria Menounos, he'd said that he can't reveal too much, mm. but it's something that is on his radar. So maybe... <sighs> Maybe this he's, is genuinely setting something up. He is somebody who, as Owen said, he just feels like being a wrestling fan. He feels like somebody who will come in yep. and give it the, dare I say it, oh, it's going to feel so dirty, the Logan Paul or the Bad Bunny, much better. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's <laughs> all right. Much easier to say. A uh, Bad Bunny treatment where, you know, comes in and actually works yeah. with it and, and looks to, you know, Puts make, time make in, an impact on their the time with it. Yeah. I can see the cowboy hat. Oh yeah, I can He's see him wrestling, you know, ball. like latter day Shawn Michaels cut off <laughs> yeah. flannel and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, like, yeah, WWE's been all about this recently. Nick Khan, especially, you know, best friend of The Rock, big yeah, deal casting yeah, agent in Hollywood. Yeah. He's pushing WWE beyond where it's been for a long time in terms of, you know, the Snookies and the, you know, the, the kind of lower tier celebrity involvement. Yeah. WWE is now just kind of looking to mess with bigger names. And it's it's nice. It's nice to see yeah. because I, we've been surprised as you said bad, bad bunny logan paul and then mm -hmm. to an extent pat mcafee as well yeah before his match with adam cole he was not really we didn't know him as a wrestling guy no um but kevin owens finishes his interview saying if we're speaking things into existence wrestlemania 39 come at me mcconaughey i'm gonna f you up oh, i don't I just, know what he could be meaning by just, f but <laughs> whatever it is it's going to be a fight, and hopefully we get it at WrestleMania 39. It's Hollywood. I just want to see the, the KO Mania shirt with McConaughey on it. That's what I want to see. And some Matthew McConaughey merch. I'll oh, get him involved with RK. Bro, all of the weed jokes. That's going to be oh. so much fun. Hopefully it happens. We've got our fingers crossed. Moving over to the AEW side of the fence now, we're going to be talking about uh, FTR. Because FTR are having they're getting a big a match. match what's going on what, so, <laughs> it's it's the the greatest tag team arguably you know make your own mind up that, that they've got their match against each other and yeah. it's something we never thought we'd see so it's part of the owen hart tournament uh and and you know the they're going to be facing off in an yeah. elimination base. It's not a match, you know, it's a match against each other for the first time. Uh, but they appeared on the 300th episode of the Wrestling Perspectives podcast. Uh, and both of them spoke about having to fight for being able
goal to face each other in a tournament qualifier. Uh, Harwood said, that was our idea totally. We had to fight for it, but that was completely our idea. We've always wanted to have a match, but we didn't want to just have a match to just have a match. There had to be a reason. This is the perfect reason to do it. The Hart family mm. means a lot to both of us personally and professionally, and so being able to show respect to Owen Hart and his whole family, what better way to do it than allowing the two biggest Hart family fans in the world to compete? They really are two of the biggest. And it's, I oh, bet yeah. all week they've been studying <laughs> just Brett Owen. Just, just, yeah. <laughs> Rocking yeah, back I, and forth. I think this is going to be a technically unbelievable match, but... I mean, they've, yeah. they've, they've wanted to pay tribute to the guys mm. for so long. And, and Wheeler goes on to say there's there's no way for Owen to get a tribute he deserved. And now we have that platform for that. When we heard about the Owen tournament, he says we, uh, we were like, we've got to go to Tony with the idea of a singles match. Uh, he did like it, but he was like, okay, I got to see if I can make it make sense. And they just, just stayed on him. They hounded <laughs> him on it. It's like they just kept on champing at him. I, I'm, gave in. I'm, I'm really happy about it. You know, I, I think that this is something that it's going to get a lot of people who maybe were into the revival and haven't quite mm. made the jump to AEW to, to watch it, I feel. I feel that the curiosity alone is going to be worth the price of admission. Yeah. And again, technical wizardry. It's, oh my God. I hope they get given a lot of time because yeah. I feel like we are just going to see loads of callbacks, loads of references. That Hopefully... I, I can't see who goes over. Like, it's one of the <sighs> most unpredictable matches we've seen in a long time because both of them deserve to go through. Yeah, and if this is it, like if this is legitimately it, like the only time we're ever going to see him wrestle, then I do, God, a good 20 minutes at least. It's just go a on. shame we don't get Brett involved. Just, yeah. just anything. But you know, Bring as we reported on yesterday, if you missed that, there's, there's rumors that Brett uh, had taken a deal with WWE, mm -hmm. uh, which would forbid him from being involved with AEW shows or AEW television. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't look like there'll be any hands-on Brett time in AEW with FTR yeah. anytime soon. But moving over to WWE again, they've trademarked some mm -hmm. more names. Now, on April 19th, 2022, WWE submitted two applications with the US Patent Office to trademark Damaris Griffin and D Griff. And uh, now Damaris Griffin appeared on NXT Level Up last night, teaming with Quincy Elliott to face Malik Blade and Edris Anofe. Yeah, so I mean, it's just it's more new names. Yeah. It's not really surprising I, they're going to trademark his name and yeah that, that's it you know it's just at this point we kind of just report on him to to be like ooh yeah <laughs> it's, it's a shiny it's, new toy. I uh, I think that you know the the great renaming. It's smart of them to just do it all now. What do you think yeah. about it? Because I, it's been so long where it's just, oh, here's a random arbitrary name change. Mm -hmm. Here's a random arbitrary name change. And it just gets so tiring that just do them all at once. Get it, get it, it in get the, it as soon done. as they come in the door. Give That's them their it. new and name. We don't have to sit there wondering who this person is if we're we miss a week of TV. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're still at that weird period of like, they're trying to still shed that black and gold brand. Yeah. And they're like, okay, let's, let's rename folk when they either go to the main roster or let's just surprise you one week and go, yep, yeah, he isn't called I, James anymore. He's just Drake. I I will not be happy until we have Thurman Sparky Plug Jr. <laughs> That's what I want. I don't want any mention of Bob who, Holly who, who either. Do you I want, want to him to just pretend that? That, 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 that Thurman Sparky Plug was a completely different gimmick. I don't know who should take who it. Who should take that gimmick? Let's say Bron Breaker. Watch the internet burn. <laughs> <laughs> if he Get beats the everyone, hair, if the he beats everyone, he'll be over. over. <laughs> he'll be over who beats everyone. <laughs> But moving on to our last story of the video, uh, we're, we're going to be looking at a report from Fightful Select uh, in which they were talking to the Good Brothers ahead of Impact Rebellion, mm. uh, and they confirmed that their Impact contracts are actually up on July 17th. The duo were apparently happy for AJ Styles agreeing to a new deal with WWE, and they said he deserves it. But then they joked that they also deserve one too, which <laughs> they do, man. They we really do. do. Uh, and he knew their release was coming because apparently AJ cleaned out their bunks on the two of us what a nice what a nice friend just yeah. <laughs> hey guys stuff. Uh, it was wrestlemania last week but uh here's all your stuff in a bag yeah did he did he get the wwe people <laughs> in with the black bin liners <laughs> uh apparently they would love to see a bullet club civil war come to a head but they're not sure where exactly it would take place uh they did tease though that more reunions are going to Ooh. come soon so i would like to see maybe where we could take some new bullet club storylines judge things mm -hmm. up a little bit because Ultimately, while I love the Bullet Club, it just hasn't had the same impact for quite some time. It's felt a bit diluted. It's felt a bit all over yeah. the place. And the pandemic certainly didn't help. So 
I, I think if there's a way to just inject some new blood into it, because it's not like they're going to just take Bullet Club away for a year, are they? Like, no, it's I mean, a Bullet Club's been around for, what, nine yeah. years now? So it's it's there's going to be dips in quality. Yeah, of how, there has they, to be, you know, because you, you got to have low times to have really high times. Yeah, but of course. I, yeah. Having the Good Brothers sort of be the American representation of the Bullet Club yeah. at the moment, it's been a good choice. In Impact, in AEW, it's yeah. kind of back to how it was. It's kind of appearing everywhere. Mm. So maybe some more Bullet Club Civil Wars. We'd love to, I mean, moving back to AEW slightly with yeah. Forbidden Door, Some you could get some Bullet Club matches, Undisputed well, it is, Elite. It is named Forbidden Bullet Club. Door, you know? Could we see some names from external companies pop up oh, without it being mentioned? Maybe, possibly. Lots of speculation. Yeah, but that's it for your second video of the day. We may be back later with a little more of anything well, breaks. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, thank you all for watching. We'll catch you next time. See you soon. Bye-bye.